everybody. We're going to miss seeing you down at the beach this spring, so we thought that we'd bring the beach to you. Some of you have come down to Edmonds before and seen our beaches, and some of you may never have been to the beach. So today, we're going to get to know some of the plants and animals that you might see when you do make it down to the beaches here in Edmonds. In Edmonds, all of our beaches are marine sanctuaries. So what does it mean to be a sanctuary? That means that it's a safe, protected place for our animals to live. Just like your home, this place is just for them. It has everything they need to live. Food, water, shelter, and places to raise their babies. We call this their habitat. When you come to the beach, it might look like this, with most of the sand covered with water. But if you come back just a few hours later, it might look like this. Why so different? Well, it happens because of something called the tides, which are caused by the gravitational force of the moon and sun. Twice a day, the water comes up high on the beach. It covers most of the rocks and sand. Twice a day, the water stays low and the sand and rocks are exposed. Low tide is the perfect time to explore the beach because that's when you can see a lot of the plants and animals that would be underwater at high tide. Most of the animals you'll see will be closed up to avoid being eaten by a predator or drying out in the hot sun. Those animals are waiting until the water comes back in at high tide. So let's play a game that will help us understand how animals behave during high and low tides. I want you to imagine that you're an anemone and you live on a rock. And when the tide is high, you have all your tentacles out feeding because there's lots of food in the water that you want to eat. But when the tide goes out, you close up tight and wait for the water to come back with your next meal. When I say tides in, stand up really tall, wave your arms like an anemone, like you're feeding, feeding, feeding. Tides out, you're curled up resting, waiting for the tide to come back. Okay, here we go. High tide. Low tide. High tide. Low tide. High tide. Low tide. High tide. Good job, everybody. Some animals spend a lot of time out of the water. They're located in what we call the high tide zone because it's only covered during the high tides. Other animals, those located in the low tide zone, don't really need to worry much about that because they're usually covered with water except when the tide is very, very low. We're going to learn more about zones and which animals live there in the next few videos.